hello everyone welcome to my channel i'm michael futures thank you for tuning in today we will be going over week nine problem set nine from harvard cs50 introduction to computer science i've watched the lectures i've watched the short videos on flask and ajax and we are just going to dig into the problems and get to work. This is about finance, which is I, which I like. Problem set nine. This is basically the final project that Harvard gives me, and then I have to create my own. So this is the last project for Harvard that they, they I have to complete for them. And then the final project is me making my own. So I don't have to answer any more questions. So here you see what basically this is what they want us to do. Implement a website which you can buy and sell stocks like this. So it's going to be CS50 Finance. We should be able to pull a quote, buy, sell, see the history, log out, register, and have all our data here. And this is where we, who provides our data, IEX, which is the API provider, which Harvard's probably paying for, I'm not, so I can't really share this with you guys, because I'm not paying for it, they are. But I can make a video about it and show you. If you don't know what it means to buy and sell stocks, I would go on the Harvard website and click here for a tutorial before you get started. This is basically telling you the tools that we're using to download the stock quotes with the API. If you don't know what API is, it's application program interface using URLs. So, boom. And this example is Netflix and it shows you all the data that they're pulling up. And as usual, to get started in the terminal, this is how we create our files, our folders. These are the folders, and to run our code, we will use Flask Run, which I'll go over all this. You want to read, go over under, understanding the app.py. They will have a few helper functions and a CQL model, which is the database, which I would get to know that, honestly. These are all the folders we're gonna see when we go over to VS Code. Requirements, static, templates. This is the one we really have to make. This is what we have to do. How to register, how to get a quote, how to buy, how to index, sell, and the history. And you can add your personal touch. So right here is what we have to make. How to register, how to buy, the index, how to sell, and the history. All the other folders will be provided for us. And then after we create all this, we're gonna to wanna to test it. And that will be with this right here. You wanna get all greens to see if you pass or fail. And then once you do that, you hand it in. And I've already handed this project in and tested it. So we're just gonna to get to it. As you can see here, they're all green. I'll run it again for you guys. We'll be working out of the finance folder, as you can see here, boom. They'll provide us with almost everything. I think the only folder I created were these in the HTML section, like the register HTML. I did the, I, I created the register in the app.py but then I also created it in the H, I just basically copy and pasted it and put it into the HTML and I made a folder here. So this is what they give you. Here's your the finance database, which is SQL, your helpers function, but you actually want to import this function into your app.py function. 
and use the data from here because this is going to give you your UART to connect to your um, APIs, your login information, how to look up the symbol. You hard code that in here. See, it says prepare API request, what symbol you want, the end date time, the start end, to end date time, the Yahoo Finance API. This is where we'll be getting our information from. Requests, the cookies, the headers, the quotes, the prices, and then it's going to return the symbol, the price, the name of the symbol, the price, and then the symbol itself. And we will be using it in USD. So now we go over to app.py. We'll from helpers import all that stuff we just went over. Apology, login required look up usd also import date time so you can get the dates and the times of all the transactions you do or you're going to have an error just so you know they don't tell you this but this this is something i'll tell you import date time you're going to run into that later when you start testing the buy and sell you're going to need that So basically, they give you most of this stuff here already, you know, in the folder. I had to do the database for the SQL. I created the file. I'm going to go over the logins, user ID. How to buy and sell. Don't forget get and post. The history. All these sections. You know, these are all functions. So what you're gonna have to really do is just the functions in the database. This stuff will be here for you already. Then you're just going to do each block one at a time. Each block, make each little block, each, each function one at a time, buy. The history is a function. The login. Log out. You're going to get a quote. And register. Now the register, I, this is, you'll have to go over here to your templates and create some of these. You see how all of the functions I have over here and my app.py. I also have in my templates, this one I created here. Boom. That's basically it. Do all the functions in the app.py. Import your URL, I mean your API, with your symbol, hard code, like the symbols and everything like that. Create your database, create all your functions. And then create your HTML with the templates. I'm not gonna give you all the answers, but we'll test it. So now we'll test this out. Actually, I'll run it for you before I even do that. Let's do flask run. I'll show you what it should look like. So once you do flask run, you want to control click on the link down here. Boom. So I'm gonna log out of this one. As you can see here, it's CS50 Finance. We have the quote, the buy, the sell, the history. Remember, these are all the functions I went over with you guys. I said quote, buy, sell, history. These are all individual. 
Then we had to log out. So we're going to log out. And we also have the register. So let's start from the very beginning. Let's go to register. Boom. We'll say Mike. We'll create a password. Confirm it. All right, we're going to register Mike. Mike has now created account. Great. Mike is going to log in. We get $10,000 cash to play around with. So let's get a quote. Let's go to Apple. Boom. Apple price. Great. Let's buy. Apple. 10 shares. Now it just shows you the symbol, the name, the shares, the price, and the value. You can check my history. The timestamp is important. It will show you what time I bought it at. Let's buy some more. We're going to buy Ford. 100 shares. Now it shows you how much cash I have on hand, the value of my stocks, how many shares I have, the price. So let's sell some. Boom, I just sold. We'll check the history out. This shows you all the transactions I made with the timestamps. IEX is my data provider, which I don't pay for. The school is paying for that. This is how I'm getting all this information for free. And that is the financial website. And what we're going to do now is we are going to check it to see if I got the green lights from Harvard. Boom. You're going to be able to see at the bottom here, they're going to verify that the information I'm giving you is correct. And we are got the green lights on everything. Of all the functions I told you, remember we have to register, the app.py exists, the application startup, the registration, the login, the buy, the sell. We did it all and we got the green light. So this was a successful project. And this was Harvard CS50. Week nine, problem set nine. And if you guys enjoyed this, please give me a like, a subscribe, a comment, help me out. I'll keep creating more content. My next video should be a final project that I create for scratch. And I hope to share with you guys my Harvard certification very soon. Thank you for tuning in today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.